today I'm going to be filming my Jeffrey Campbell shoe collection. It's kind of an updated shoe collection, but I've been asked to do this several times. It's something I've always talked about doing, but never did. You know, kind of like the Summer Olympics. Like, is that happening? I feel like we've been talking about that for like six months now, and so far it's just been like a gimmick to buy Coca-Cola products. I don't know. I decided that I would film a quick little intro for the video, and I decided I would do that in the car because I'm kind of hoping that in the time it took me to get this delicious iced tea here, <sighs> I've got to hope it, it'll cool down like 10 degrees or so because we've got like some kind of rainstorm rolling in. I thought I'd put a disclaimer, as with all things on YouTube, I'm not doing this to like brag or to show off. Anybody who thinks I would be doing that does not know me very well. And then the other thing I thought I would film in the intro, because I'm always being asked about shoe storage or how do I keep my collection intact, and really I don't do anything special. That's why I think it would be kind of silly to film an entire video on it. All I do for shoe storage is put them back in the original dust bags in the original boxes. I think that's the best thing for shoes like Jeffrey Campbell and stuff like that because when you get them they tell you the style and everything on the box. So it keeps everything really organized because when you're looking for a particular shoe you can just read the side of the box. So I just keep them stacked in the original boxes in my closet. I hope you guys enjoy the collection. Instead of doing a voiceover I'm gonna try and just like like holler a little bit and tell everybody about you know maybe some of the reasons why I bought the shoes or what the shoe is or maybe if I can remember where I got the shoe from. I suck really bad at voiceovers so I'm just gonna try and like holler. It shouldn't it shouldn't be too obnoxious I guess. So I thought this would be something fun to put up while I'm still editing and getting my Q&A video done and I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you later. These are my night walks and I got them originally to go to a concert in last October. Originally I found them really really hard to walk in and I never wore them outside but I've been doing a lot of practice with them in the past couple months and now they're a lot easier to walk in outside. I have no problem with them. So these take a little bit of getting used to, but in the end, I think that they are a good, unique piece for my collection. And I believe I got these from Urban Outfitters. are my shadow studs which as you can see are very very similar to the night walks in the you know shape of the shoe but these are covered in flat studs on the inside and tree spikes and regular spikes on the outside and the heel. I got these from Soulstruck not too long ago. These are in a boot shape, so these for me were a lot easier to walk in and get used to than the night walks ever were. I never had a problem just putting these on and immediately walking outside in them. So if you like the shape of the night walk, but you're scared of the wearability factor, I would definitely go for the shadow studs over the night walk because having the boot instead of the strap, it's a lot easier to walk in and get used to. bright twos. They are my favorite pair of platforms that I own. I bought these originally because they reminded me of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. They look like golf shoes and I'm working on a Hunter S. Thompson lookbook right now and I needed some outrageously cool shoes and so these were perfect for that. When I first bought them I didn't know if I would get a lot of wear out of them but these have literally been one of my staple shoes all summer. They're so comfortable, so easy to walk in and they're really adorable paired with a lot of different looks. my 
damsel spikes i love any shoe honestly with spikes on it i feel like it's just a little bit of a statement that can be added to most shoes a lot of my accessories and jewelry is silver so for me and my wardrobe and my taste really i love everything with spikes on it that's why i have a lot of spike shoes in my collection they're just a complete like statement shoe for me you get the dramatic platform of the damsel plus the punch of the spikes on the back it's just the complete package for me really they're very comfortable very easy to walk in normally i'm not that great in wedges but these i don't really have a problem with at all my all over Lita Spike and I kind of got these because they reminded me of another one of my favorite pair of shoes which are the Hellraiser flats and I just love things covered in spikes once again. I also got these to kind of be a staple to my wardrobe because Lita's are super easy to walk in and so I kind of got these as a companion to my flat spiked loafers. I got these because it's kind of the same thing, the same kind of wearability for my wardrobe, but a little bit dressier. are the newest addition to my Jeffrey Campbell collection. They are the Jeffrey Campbell Black Milk collaboration and I believe that these are called the Cosmic Rainbow Damsels. I just love them. I absolutely adore the print. This came from a NASA satellite telescope. Telescope. I'm pretty sure it's not a telescope but you know what I'm saying. They're authentic star cosmic print they are just perfect for really making any outfit pop i love black milk stuff and i love jeffrey campbell so this is just a match made in heaven are my Lita Stars and Stripes and I'm actually not sure if I ever did an unboxing of these here on my channel. These were another shoe that I really got with my Hunter S. Thompson themed lookbook in mind. I really have been loving all things that are Americana lately and these are obviously super Americana. They've been perfect really for all summer. I believe I got these mid-June so these were absolutely great to wear of course on the 4th of July and to all the barbecues and stuff that I've been going to. You can really just throw these on with anything, any kind of shorts or really whatever you want to pair them with. my suede lavender 99 ties. Lavender is my absolute favorite color so needless to say when I saw these a long time ago last year I really had to get them. They're very very cute, very easy to walk in. I don't think that they make a lot of 99 ties anymore. I don't know if I'm just not seeing them or if 99 ties is kind of a style that Jeffrey Campbell has faded out but I love these and I'm super glad I got my hands on a pair. These are 
my Lita CMYK spikes. I absolutely adore these. These are the Litas with just the spiked heel. And not too long ago, Jeffrey Campbell put out a whole line of different colored spike options. You could get green or pink or the gold or the black ones. They're actually kind of more of a gunmetal shade than black, but I absolutely love that because that really means that I can wear these with anything. I'm pretty much not restricted to having to wear a specific color in my outfit. So once again, these are Lita's, super easy to walk in. They go great with everything. have to show you guys and these are my Jeffrey Campbell Cosmic Litas. Now these are the old Cosmic Litas and they are much different than the new Jeffrey Campbell Black Milk collaboration Cosmic Litas. The old Cosmic print which is this one which is my Litas. This is a vinyl material and as you guys can see the Cosmic print is drastically different than the Black Milk Jeffrey Campbell's. So that's kind of why I was thinking about getting the new Cosmic Litas as well. I'm a sucker for Cosmic print. So I definitely love having the original Cosmic Litas in my collection as well as the new Black Milk Jeffrey Campbell Damsels. I think if I got the new Cosmic Litas that they would still be something completely different to have in my collection. I love these. These were my first pair of Litas that I ever bought. so much for watching I hope you enjoyed seeing my collection I keep doing this crazy I hope you enjoyed it if you would like I would love to have you take a minute to subscribe become a member of the swamp family that would be really nice if you want you can like me on Facebook facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on Twitter Tumblr or Instagram at graveyard girl and I'll see you guys later bye